Hey, 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 y'all. What's going on? Welcome to my channel, T Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my chick, chick, Gemini. My Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? High Vibe Cross Watcher. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Sending you a whole lot of love and hugs. I hope everybody's having a fantastic, amazing day. And I want to thank you for all your love, likes, your subscribes, your comments, your donations, your booked readings, everything Gemini High Vibe Cross Watchers. I love you. Keep in mind, it's a general message. It's not going to resonate with each and every Gemini High Vibe Cross Watcher or nobody. So take what fits for you, my loves, and leave the rest. Don't force it. If I say a Gemini and you know it's not you, then uh, baby, I'm not talking about you. You know there's high and low Geminis, high and low, all the zodiac signs. So and if I say it's a Sagittarius doing this fuckery, and you know you're a Sagittarius or a Gemini or any zodiac sign that's not doing the fuckery, then it's not you, my loves, okay? Energy is fluid. You know you got some crazy ass people, okay? Just like we have good, loving signs of all zodiac, there's some crazy ass signs too, okay? So keep that in mind. Energy is fluid and timeless. So it could be talking about you. It doesn't have to be you. It could be people in your energy, okay? But only take what fits that you know of to be true for you and leave the rest, angels. And don't, don't, don't make it complicated, okay? Choir, come to the front. Come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, T-girl, tarot, magic and collective. T-girl, 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 magic and collective. T-girl, tarot, magic and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Yay, choir. Okay, right into it. I am getting a masculine energy that's heavily burdened. They're trying to figure out how to come to you. And I'm beginning a masculine that has some type of disease that they want to translate it to you because you're in this victorious, you're getting justice, your life is balanced, and they're going through a heavy burden right now with the Ten of Wands that I saw. Um, very stressful, very like just like hopeless a little bit. And here you are living your best life and they say in their mind, they be damned that you live your best life and not have them a part of you, Okay. Child, they're going through a tower and they want to come and bring you a tower. Okay, yes. Okay, what else, spirit? Because they feel that that would balance out their lives if all of you guys had some disease together to share the burdens. Okay, because this person can't sleep at night. They're stressed out. Okay, because of whatever they've contracted from whatever their sexual activities are, however that may be. No judgment here. Just I'm just telling you, you know, this is what's going on in your energy. There's a masculine in your energy who's heavily burdened. They're stressed out. They have anxiety. They can't sleep at night. Nightmares, cold sweats, maybe the disease. I don't know what's going on. But all I know is they're going through a tower right now. Okay, what else, spirit? And you're holding yourself back. Our spirit's trying to figure out because you are holding yourself. You're not talking to this energy no more. No, you're not. You're in your king of pentacles energy focused on you and your money and your bag and the people that you love around you. And this masculine energy or feminine energy, take it how it resonates. It could be a feminine or masculine energy is trying to come towards you because your back is turned. Okay, you're, you're withholding in information, energy from this person. It could be a Leo that you're holding back from. This man is stressed out. How are they going to receive justice? For some of y'all, they're facing jail time. Okay, um, and what else, spirit? It used to be one of the main males. One of your main males are trying to figure out how to get back into your good graces again to be your number one, Gemini, because we have one over here. And then we got one over here. So Gemini, they want to be your number one. Or this could be you, Gemini. Okay, take the energy how it resonates. Maybe you're concerned about how getting to get back with a Libra to cause a Libra some type of imbalance, to a tower to change their life in some type of way because you feel whatever happened in between you two is possibly a missed opportunity. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm. And because they don't want to reconcile with your ass, it stresses you out. And Spirit said that's the truth because whoever this Libra is, they're using their intuition. <clears throat> or maybe you should have used your intuition about this Libra energy. Spirit said that's the truth because this Libra was actually the ace. So what I'm getting is this masculine energy. 
They had a lot of promiscuous sexual ways, okay? They got with a Libra energy that was supposed to balance out their life and bring them justice in some form or fashion, bring them this Ace of Pentacles, bring them into this Emperor energy, but they chose to be with other lovers and juggle this energy because they did it for money, okay? They did it for money. But whoever they hooked up with doing something for money was nothing more than a thief because they were ended up, they ended up being juggled. Because maybe they got with a sex worker. Because this person, yeah, they got with a, oh my God, a sick sex worker. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, so this masculine guy, and I'm not going to call him divine because he's not divine. Well, he is divine by Ian because he's a spiritual being having a physical experience, but an upright, righteous divine. I'm going to say righteous divine masculine. And I'm going to say unrighteous divine masculine. That's how I'm going to clarify him because everybody is a divine being. But which divine being are you? Are you in the upright divine being? Are you in the reverse, upside down, him downstairs, low vibrational divine being? But this energy also I'm picking up that this whoever this air sign is, they could be a magician as well. They wanted to receive some justice to bring a Libra or a, a Leo or a water sign, any signs, a type of tower in their life. So they were projecting a lot of negative energies out there, okay, going and doing ma black magic that I'm hearing, okay, they went to a high priestess possibly as well, a uh, Sagittarius energy, or also this water sign, I mean, this or, uh, whoever this, this masculine is, okay, because everybody has all the signs in their chart, so it's hard for me to pinpoint, like, this is this, this person, so use your intuition as it resonates, okay, but it could be, um, an air sign with water in their chart with fire, a Sagittarius fire sign to be specific. But yes, their 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 whore like ways. They got with a hoe, a sick hoe for money. They did so. They went into union with a sick hoe. They probably had a one night stand with a sick hoe, and that's the call that changed every damn thing. Now this person's walking around here sick, okay, um, sad, stressed out, nervous because their life is ending and it's over with this tower card. That's their karma and justice, and they're trying to come back in to figure out how they're going to end your life and get some justice to balance out like them. That means that they feel that they give you some type of disease that you will have no choice but to be with them for the rest of your life because they got with some type of sick prostitute, okay? With the, and, and that's and, and the one night stand that changed every damn thing, okay? They say put that right there and put this right here. Okay, what else, spirit? Mm, that's that's heavy. I had to observe that a little bit. Observe, absorb. Yeah, this man wants to get and communicate to you. Okay, they're angry though. I mean, no, they 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 look. They want to communicate, Gemini. I want another chance to be with you. They think you're passionate, sexy, abundant. They're really stressed out about how they're going to come towards you because they know that you know some type of truth. You're the high priestess energy, okay? You can see past the illusions and confusions from this Gemini, okay? So it is another air sign that's in a lower vibration, okay? They're at, a, they're at a crossroads right now. They're feeling really mentally imprisoned right now over you, Gemini, okay? Over the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Why? Because they are, like I saw, in the, the Knight of Pentacles. They don't have any money. They don't have very much. And also... um. Yeah, they could be moving, losing a home, getting evicted from a home, or whatever the case may be. Yeah, honey, they are, something's not going right. They have to leave a house, a housing situation, okay? And they want to come towards you. But spirit just needs you to be aware of your... I, I know you, even if you're not taking anybody back from the past, this person... Why, why does Gemini need to know this spirit? Because they're in depressed. So this person, look, desperate calls for desperate measures. Desperate times call for... De Child, let me tell you desperate times call for desperate measures they might be sleeping in their car it might be old the car like might be getting fined and ticketed in walmart parking lots like i don't know how this is working <laughs> i'm laughing like that oh um you know my ancestors make me laugh they like girl lighten up laugh a bit this you didn't do this i didn't but i don't want to i'm not laughing at them this is just sad because I can't believe, like, it, Spirit say, because it all could have been prevented. It all could have been prevented. But it wasn't, and nobody's perfect, but they need a place to stay and a bite to eat, y'all. Okay? Because they're getting, they got eviction papers. Okay? And they have a disease. And now they want to come back in and force their way in. Yeah, but you blocking them, privileged lady, because you mature, you smart, and you, you know, you know what's up, high priestess. Teresa knows. 
Yes, you. they want to come in and force their hand in marriage. And it's like, okay, they're not going to tell you about this disease. But your intuition is going to tell you to block them. Be Why? Because your intuition makes you wise. Because you already know something ain't right. As soon as they come up and run up on you, they may look crazy a little bit. Like a little malnourished. Okay? Um, what else? Because they're also going through like eviction and money problems and a sickness all that on top of somebody will take its toll on someone and when you see this person uh, they, as they come in towards the privileged lady talking about let's come to work on some things you're gonna be like oh hell no uh oh -uh, no the devil is a lie yes gemini you don't made the judgment call it's a hell no for you but anyway spirit what else though well, tell us what this masculine is going like what's going on what's their their intentions are just trying to come in and um give you the disease as well and they want some money too their whole goal is money okay to be the wealthy man because that's all they really want to be and if they can just get into your home if they can just get into your home they could be the wealthy man too with this king of pentacles and they can marry you okay they could take over okay and then when they take over instead of coming from going from rags to riches from despair to homelessness, sleeping in the car, to a little bit of coin, penny pension. They can get your money unexpectedly. Because look, this is how they're thinking about it. How am I going to get this unexpected income? Oh, I'm going to come in and I'm going to bogart um, Gemini in a marriage. Where was my marriage card? Uh, Y'all saw it, but anyway. Yeah. Um, you're blocking privilege, lady. Yeah, they want to come in and, and marry you, Empress. Let's get married. And if I get married, then I have ties to your assets. Okay? You know, you and I are one. My money is your money, and your money is my money. Oh, hell no. You don't want to be hooking up with no brokey. And I'm not saying that if y'all got together and then came up and then he got broke after the fact y'all got together because life happened. That's different. You're going to stand by your man because you're going to build back up the empire. But if somebody comes to you broken down already that did you wrong in the first place and their intentions are to get you sick with a motherfucking disease, it's a fuck no. They coming in with this energy. So no, you're not going to vibrate with that energy. Yeah, they think oh, if I marry you, I'm going to be victory and success and, and be the official person. That's what they think, Gemini. I'm just telling you what they think. And I'm going to get a celebration, bitches. I'm going to be celebrated. Yeah, but God said, oh, no, you not. <laughs> That's what God said. This man, yeah, he think he your counterpart. Mature man, mature woman. This is a man who has been traveling all over the world. They possibly, you know, they're probably, you know, well learned or whatever. But this person doesn't use their intuition at all. They can't get you out of their head. They can't stop thinking about you. They got bad health, like I said. Yeah, they're thinking about how to come in and get you this bad health and how to make you the main female to keep you forever. And then some of them are going to walk away and continue the cycle all over again. So the whole goal is this. They don't want you to walk away out of their life. They're pissed off that they got some type of sexually transmitted disease from their horror-like ways because this man is well-learned in the world. It's for the streets. He's been all around the world. Okay, and he still can't find his baby because he can't even find himself. Okay, at the end of the day. That's his justice. His disease is his justice. Okay, and I'm getting, for some of them, it's the same sex um, person that they got it from in secret. Okay, a Leo energy. Yes, okay. Um, mm, a king of wands, a fire sign energy. But I did get Leo and or Sagittarius or this earth sign or fire sign or air sign got Sagittarius in their chart but yeah they got with somebody that was burnt already okay they did um and now they want to come and get it to you because they don't want you to be with nobody else and they're going to communicate to you too okay um but whatever they communicate to you it's a, it's a lie I'm gonna just put it that way it's a lie and this person's mentally in trap because they don't know how they're going to come and execute this lie um to go in their favor because you are very intuitive as well so the, the goal is in the bottom line for them, their whole thing would make them no, nothing more than happier and getting this nine of cups energy is to transfer this disease over to you and this motherfucker thinking, how do I, how? It's going to take some luck now. They hope it's going to be some luck that you let their ass back in and forgive them and they can move forward. But it looks like to me already that you done cut them out of your life. That's what it looks like. 
And so, yeah, they're suffering in bad health, y'all. Can't make it up. This is the bad health. They want you to be the main female, okay? And then once they make you the main female and marry you, oh, damn. Yeah, they want some money from you. Look at them. They got their damn handout and everything with the Six of Pentacles. And then we got the Page of Pentacles. And then we got the, the Ten of Swords. So this person's coming in to backstab and betray you. As they get a little bit of money, too, they're going to get a little bit of money, okay? Um, and put you in a third-party situation where you're going to have to keep rehealing again. And I don't think this is a healing that you're going to be able to come back from. So, yeah, if you got to shoot, shoot, okay? If you got to pack, pack. If you got to carry, carry. What is this person's intention, spirit? Because I'm hearing they're kind of aggressive, like they're angry, you know, what's going on? Because, yeah, like their life is on the line from their own doing, though. They, they're really adamant about, yeah, they want the will to turn in their favor. They're adamant about the will because the will has turned in their favor. And not, I mean, not in their favor, but for, like, it turned in your favor. But it didn't turn good in their favor. And they are lying about their health. Okay? They are lying about their health. They're in denial. Either they're lying about it or they're in denial about their health, okay? This person is still um, sleeping around with people for money. Oh, my God. They, they have a fucking disease, and they still going around sleeping with people, men, for money, okay? Damn. No, no. I'm not talking about the sleeping with the men part. I'm talking about for money part, okay? This is a prostitute, they burning, honey. Oh, child, I can't make it up. They ass is burning. They got something. Okay, and they come in to bring it to you to cause conflict and chaos to you. Oh, hell no. So just be aware. Be aware. Because they're under adjudication right now. They're under judgment right now. And they're thinking about a way before they go out how to give it to you. How to get... Look at this man. This He is crazy as fuck. Look how he looking. He, how do I get Gemini to sick? How do I... How? 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 They really studying that. Y'all be careful in them streets now. He's angry and bitter and upset and fighting with people and probably got court issues and everything going on. Got to move, getting evicted, babies he got to take care of. He trying to get the Ten of Pentacles but can't seem to get it, keep juggling, but spying on everybody else that got a Ten of Pentacles. He mad about that, how he can't get a Ten of Pentacles because his ass is too low. He too toxic. He refuses to change. And that, with that, will give you, keep you poor. Refusing to change and go with the flow and going with the wind, it'll keep your ass poor. This man is experiencing poverty right now. He's crying right now. He's in his emotions right now. He doesn't know which way he needs to go right now. He's feeling like a fool, like he's been in balance his whole life. His child, I can't look. He feels crazy right now. All out of control. And angry. King of Swords energy. Okay? That he got a gift that kept on giving that he, and you didn't get the gift. So he mad that you healthy and he's sick. And this man is feeling imprisoned. So Jim and I be careful out there, y'all. Because you got a bitter Betty bitch from your past. Possibly who you were getting ready to marry to. They're a narcissistic energy. They didn't hit bad luck. They're in the closet. They don't want to acknowledge nothing. They want to run from every damn thing. So they ended up getting burnt, clapped, and crunched with the timbers and the death. With bad health, now they want to run to the privileged lady, but you blocking them. They mad because you got money and you mature woman. You beautiful, sexy, abundant. Life is going on for you and life is ending for them. So I don't know what to tell them on that one or you. You just keep doing you and stay high vibe. As long as you're vibing high, that means me being aware of what's going on in your surroundings. You will be able to transmute and return to sender that energy because you are always protected like i said your power is within you don't act like god's on the outside even though god is everything and everywhere but we are all god which god and you know what i'm saying so exercise your powers within that is your birthright the holy spirit within you to call out and command return to sender that is your birthright okay there's nothing wrong with that in love and light always okay that is part of your protection mechanisms yeah, God's got you and nothing, no weapons, but he, didn't, he never said that they weren't going to form. They're just not going to prosper. And if you use your power of words, of wisdom wisely, that can combat a lot of this tower energy. You don't have to feel a lot of the effects what people send to you. You understand? That's why your gifts 
are, a, I mean, your feelings are a gift from God to let you know what's in your energetic field and what you are attracting, okay? To, to cast these illusions to the side, high priestess energy, to know what's being confused and illusion. Don't just say, well, you know, I'm just going to let God handle it. God is in you. You better use that Holy Spirit. I almost cuss. Lord, have mercy. You better use that power for, for right. You are, don't, don't deny God of his power in you. The Holy Spirit lives within you. That's why God died and sacrificed himself so you can have a chance of salvation and live it more abundantly. Live it more abundantly. You are the king of pentacles by birthright. The emperor by birthright. Okay, don't let, leave power in somebody else's hands. Yeah, your ancestors got you. Yeah, the angels got you. But you, they need you to, they can only do so damn much. You need to do your part too. And don't deny God of his power as him working in you and through you as you. Okay, and I know I'm right on that one. Okay, so don't deny that, you know, I mean, I'm just saying, use your powers for good. Because people are going to be using their powers for bad to try to kill off. And destroy you like the devil's minions like they do. You a soldier. Soldiers fight. Hello? Are you a soldier in the army of God? Or are you a soldier in the army of dumbness? And I'm not saying that you're dumb, but God is intelligence. Okay? God is not at all. He's not delusional. God uses intuition and he uses his gifts for good. And he knows how to transmute that energy right back to what's good because for the goose is good for the gander. You reap what you sow, but I'm not sending it in hate like you are. I'm not sending it in evil and death like you are. I'm sending it in love and light. So whatever energy comes back to you, let it be a lesson to you. The energy that you project is the energy that, well, the life you live is the energy that you're giving out. So if you're giving out bad energy to other people and the high light and the high vibe is just returning it in love and light and your life is ended up like this, this is just a lesson for you. to. I mean, that is what it is. You know what I mean? Because if, if you don't, you're going to end up like this. So do you want it to be you? No, you don't. But you want it to get off of your ass, right? So God has, look, I'm not, that's a whole nother reading. But y'all get the gist. The woke ones, you know exactly what the hell I'm saying. So with that, I'm going to end this reading. Protect yourself because there's some dirty bitches out there that are mad and shit. That they're sick because they didn't they hold around the world unprotectedly got a disease and not to say that if you use protection because energy is energy you can still have sex with a lower vibrational energy and get a demon a, a transmitted demon and they thinking about how to come back and, and transfer this sickness to you so just stay woke is all i'm saying okay babies i love you so much and i will talk to you soon and you have a great rest of your day bye